Microsoft PowerPoint is the go-to software for creating a business presentation. At least it was in like 2016, but it's surprisingly capable as a game engine. So today we're gonna be putting Microsoft PowerPoint to the test by challenging my friend Icoso to a game dev competition, but we have to use PowerPoint. This is a terrible idea. Welcome, Icoso. So you've actually made a game in PowerPoint before, right? Yes, I have. Do you have any tips for a newbie like me? Uh, well, you said you watched the uh, the tutorial video, so that's a good start. Oh yeah, I know all your secrets. All right, let's ask Chat GPT for a theme. Generate a theme for a game jam. Transformation. I guess I guess that's our theme. Yeah, I guess that that's our theme. And we're going one hour. Yeah. As soon as I press this button, the challenge will begin. Three, two, one. Okay, there we go. I will hang up now. Good luck. Bye, gang. I, I hope you win, definitely. I hope he loses, bro. Bad luck to him. Oh, let's just start. Okay, let's just start. Uh, okay, so PowerPoint game development. I actually did a little bit of research so that I wouldn't come into this completely clueless. Let me show you guys how this works. Make a blank slide for starters. And what you can do is you can create a shape and then what you can do is add actions. Actions are incredibly essential for PowerPoint and are what make it somewhat competent as a game engine. So let me add a new action. So there's mouse click, which basically makes a button and then mouse over, which means if you hover the mouse over this object, it'll run this action. So you can imagine there's a lot you can do with this. So when you hover over this button, you get hyperlinked to the next slide. So I'll say hover on me for death then what I can do is if I run this PowerPoint presentation, which I don't know how to do, how do you run a PowerPoint presentation? Okay, here, from beginning. So here, now we have my PowerPoint presentation running. And if I hover over this button, I die. We have a game, literally. Anyway, we need some ideas. How are we going to make a game about transformation? Do we try and recreate PowerPoint in PowerPoint? That would be pretty funny. It trans- Guys, it transforms into PowerPoint. Oh, so smart. Let's make a title screen first. All right, very good. Comic Sans, best font. All right, that's a pretty good title slide. I like it. So the theme for the, our game is transformation. I don't know what to do though. Ooh, someone in chat said you have to defend an egg. Let's make a game about defending an egg so that you can- so that the egg can transform into a- whatever an egg hatches into, a chicken. Egg, okay, egg. Let's make an egg as a test. Is there an egg sprite? You can make images. Oh yeah, wait, let, let's let's make an egg. Let's make an egg. All right, eggs have an, have like a head, the, the egg. Perfect, dude, per perfectly done, bro. Okay, perfect, perfect. And then the egg has a, um, the egg has a, a white inside. So it's looking like an egg, it's looking like an egg. All right, here we go, egg. Image, crop to content. File, export as, egg.png. So this is my egg. Okay, we did it, we have an egg. Holy Mouse already has an egg. An egg? That's crazy. How would I, how am I gonna beat him? He has an egg. All right, so this is a pretty good story so far, I think. How much time do you have? We have an hour, but I don't know when we started. So we have like, maybe like 45 minutes left. How do you make like a, a path? Oh gosh, a path. I need, I, need, I need an animation path. Oh, add animation, scroll down to motion path. Line, a line. Wait, oh, let's go. When the animation is finished, what I want to do is like kill you. You die when the animation finishes because the thingy touched the egg. You know, like you feel me? Exit effect. Um, I don't know, like a zoom. Oh wait, no, that's that's bad. Fade. I'll do fade. I'll do fade. Now it should work. Now it should work. So now it should fade to the next slide. It's okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I have hope. I have hope. Um, so let's say, actually, no, we don't need to do that. We can just do little hallways. And then in these hallways, we can have little riddles. Oh, this is going to be so... Guys, we might need to choose a simpler idea because I'm freaking out. Why would this not work? Wait, what the hell? Oh, it fades, it fades the ob... It doesn't fade to the next slide. It just fades out the object. I don't know. I don't know how to make a transition to the next slide. Oh, no. Oh, you advance the slide after. Oh, so what you do is you put a timer on the slide. You put a timer on the slide. So then after a set, the length of the animation. Okay, okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, how do you do that though? Oh, in the transit. Okay, in the transitions tab. There we go. Now this should work. If I go to slideshow from beginning 
Let's go. Absolute genius. I don't mean to flex, but I'm a genius. Guys, I don't think this idea is going to work. Metroidvanias are too difficult. Um, transform. What can we do for transform? All right, now we can duplicate this slide and move it around as we need. Uh, I feel like I need to have story if I want to beat Polymuth. And if I lose this competition, that's not going to be good for me because I am the PowerPoint guy. Or we can make it a quiz. We could do some funny questions. That could be a thing we could do. So in this slide is the game over scene. So for now, I will, I don't know, bro. Let me just make a black square. So then the idea is if you're unable to destroy this enemy before it reaches the egg, then the game over slide is loaded. So you lose the game. So then if I present this slideshow and I click the enemy, the next slide, oh, this is actually fire, this is actually fire. And there we go, we actually have a game. Now we just have to make some levels and polish the art. What should the enemies be? I'll make a bird, I'll make a bird. And I'll make an angry bird. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna spend the entire hour drawing this singular bird sprite. There we go, it's perfect, it's perfect, it's so perfect. I love this bird, okay. Um, now, animation. Uh, we will do a little bit of smoothing. I came for probably my stream, this is more chill. Is this more chill? I'm stressing out like freaking crazy. The game loop should be complete. I'm gonna try and play the game now. So you destroy the bird, you destroy the bird, and you win. So yeah, we have a game loop. It's just way too easy. I wouldn't really call this much of a game. How do we make this game not suck is the question. Oh yeah, let's just do some crazy thing. Custom paths are huge, okay. Is it gonna work? Am I missing anything? Oh, okay, that's time. There we go. I think our game is not that bad, to be honest. I'm gonna call Icoso and see where he's at. Hello. The hour is complete. How did it go for you? Oh, it it definitely happened. Okay, um, yeah. it it went, it went. I can play yours first. Oh god, oh god. Okay. No, I just I, stop playing. No, no spoilers, no spoilers. All right, do I just do the slideshow? Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. I, I hope so. PowerPoint game. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I think I broke your game. There we go. Okay. Now this is the real attempt. PowerPoint game. Yes. I think that's, I think that's spelled right. Hello. You are a science person and must transform me into the Lorax person. What am I what um, am I getting into? Bro, this picture is so I don't know why I posted this picture. It's my biggest regret. I don't know why why I'm making that face. Whoa, whoa, this is kind of fancy. Oh, I see. I get it. 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 I see, I see. This is like the the classic maze game. This is the classic maze game. Yeah. Oh, this is actually difficult. Oh no, it's actually not that difficult. How do I know? Go, go, go! I did it. Yo. No way, it's Jonas right, Tyroller. This is this is easy. This is easy. This is easy. This is easy. Why are they hip? Okay, I got it. What is Oh, a quiz. Okay. A quiz. It's a game show. A quiz. What is Icoso's real name? It's definitely Icorn, so wait. Easy. Wait, oh, it's not. All right. Dave. It's Dave, I guess. Um, so my chat said to put an egg. Let's go. Thank you for turning me into the Lorax person. Great, great game. Fire, fire um, game. I actually, I actually enjoyed that. It was, it I'm was, so sorry. it was, it was a game. It was a game. It definitely was a game. All right, am I playing yours now? Yeah, I guess it's a little, a little broken, but I guess it works. Oh, uh, yeah, good I, guess, I guess it's oh, playable, wait. yeah. Oh, wow, you died. Yo, yo. Bro, you're, you're a noob. You're just a noob at this game. I am. This, wait, this is actually like so groovy. Wait, how'd you win? Wait, well, what? Wait, that's not supposed uh, to happen. No, wait, no, 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 no. That 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 never happened. That never can, happened. <laughs> wait, I like this though. It's like a um defender game. I guess that's why it's called Egg Defender. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad I'm glad you like it. I like it too. It's a very good game. I think it's clearly the winner. It is time to vote for the ultimate PowerPoint game. The winner of the first ever indie game off. So far it's pretty even. I do not like these results. 12, 12 to 7. It is, is not looking good, chat. It is not looking good. Will there be a last minute switch up? No. No. Even when you told my own chat to vote for me, you still won. So I guess that means you're objectively the PowerPoint winner. This has been a good day for Icoso. It's been, a, it's been an awful, terrible day for me.